Today, very stressful topic, okay? I'm just gonna be real with you. I really genuinely in my heart believe that every female has had an experience. I'm not gonna say an ongoing experience, but an experience with this type of situation. So yeah, y'all, one time, my day on the ja ja which I call the ching, my ba ching, okay, was smelling a little, mm-mm. Okay, it, a little, mm-mm. Now y'all, it was a lot of reasons why this is when I was younger, like you know, in school and stuff like that. It's a lot of reasons why this could come about, okay? It's a lot of reasons why it could happen. So I'm bringing this video to y'all, tell y'all my situation, okay? As well as tell y'all how y'all could possibly prevent it. So, like for the longest I had, I was always in like sports and athlete, cheerleading, track, every activity there is okay so i often perspired a lot you know in school and through high school middle school and things like that but this one particular day bro i'm like okay i had a good day got up got fresh woo, woo, woo. first of all i'm just gonna say because of my conditions when i was a little younger i was not able to like fully shower so i always had to wash up and things like that you know to uh pretty much take place of taking showers because you know it was just situations i ain't gonna get all deep into today but if y'all want a story time about like living arrangements and things like that when i was younger just comment down below and i probably will give y'all a video i'm just gonna say to make it short i did not have the most ample the most silver spoon or even the most regular um you know living arrangements growing up so i had to wash up Boom, boom, bop, what you got? Okay, so often I would have like a certain smell from time to time. It wasn't like nothing that was super bad or whatever the case may be. It wasn't like, oh, everybody was smelling you. I wasn't labeled that girl, you know what I'm saying? But when I would go into the bathroom and I would go let them damn panties down, your girl used to be like, oh. Did anybody smell that? Okay, let me go ahead and, uh, no, let me go ahead and start, uh, okay, and uh, and go back to class. But, y'all, I just never understood, I never understood, like, the vagina, I ain't gonna lie, I never understood the, the woman parts. Like, when you young, you don't really know much if you don't have, like, a person telling you specifics, like a mother that's like, look, this, and I'm not saying my mom didn't tell me, because she did, she told me whatever she could, but as far as my situation, I thought that every girl probably dealt with this. And um, I don't know, I was really private when it came to my private too. So like, I wasn't just like open to just tell people, oh, I'm having this situation or I'm dealing with this experience with my, uh, you know what I'm saying, like that. What not, okay? So, I'm just gonna say it like this. It literally took me, um, it pretty much balanced out as I got older, you know what I'm saying? Like whatever the smell was or whatever the, the you know, it would either be like, a, since I sweated a lot, it would be musk, or it would be like a, you know, just an unfamiliar smell from time to time, usually around like that time of the month. Y'all know what I'm talking about, all the ladies out there, y'all know what, around that time of the month is when it would get like, okay now, girl, okay. Is you human or a dead rat? <laughs> but no, you get what I'm saying, but that would be the time where it would just be like, okay, now. Normally, it would just be like a regular mile. Nothing too major, I would say maybe a six, okay, a five, like in between, you know what I'm saying? So look, check this out. As I got older and I grew up, I'm like, bruh, my mom used to give me this specific type of soap, and I remember it, dial bacteria bar soap the orange one that's what we used my whole life let me take a drink of this <laughs> mm. this is so good can anybody get i didn't get 
Like when you're young and your people use certain stuff, they come to you, here you go, use this. Here you go, there's more soap. Here you go, this, this, and that. You don't think like, okay, maybe this isn't right for my body. Maybe this is not the type of soap I should use for my body. You get what I'm saying? So the goddamn situation was the damn soap I was using was not the goddamn soap that I was supposed to use for my body. Do you hear me? I have been using the wrong freaking soap nearly my whole life. My body did not like that soap. Bro, when I got a little older and I said, huh, you know, I got a little more money in my pocket because I worked in myself. I said, look, your girl want to use the D, the bird soap, okay? Because I ain't got no sponsorships. I ain't about to do promoting products. But your girl wanted to use the, oh, y'all already know which one that is. And I have a link in the description box if y'all want to go buy some, okay? It's really good. So, I will use that soap in rose or white. And I didn't have those problems no more. Can you, girl, girl, can you believe it? Hold on. Can you believe that, girl? It was that goddamn gone soap that I had. They had me out here smelling like a damn dead rat. A goddamn dead, dead animal in the back of the dead, the forest somewhere. Had me out here looking like, smelling like I came straight off the, the slaughter table at the meat market, okay? In my opinion. Because I mean, clearly it's your body. You know, you are going to be the first person to smell something once you open the sesame. For the longest. And I don't know why I didn't say nothing. I thought it was like regular, you know? Like I said, it wasn't on the scale to where it was horrible to where people would notice it, but it was on a scale to where I would notice it. You know what I'm saying? And right along with that, you get other issues like BB. And um, if y'all don't know what that is, it's pretty much a bacteria imbalance type of thing. You know, if you use the wrong soaps, sometimes certain underwear, cottons, and things like that, too tight pants. All that stuff will cause those things. And um, yeah, that's what I had going on. So, yo nigga, I was that girl. I was that girl, I can sit here. Your girl is not perfect, nobody is. I can come on this god dang on channel and tell you that I am human and I dealt with that and I went through that and I no longer have to go through that. So, for those people who may not understand that, I'm sure some people out here are going through the same thing I went through. If you have a consistent odor, um, maybe a discharge or anything like that, it could be your underwear, your clothes too tight, your soap, okay? Number one, for real. Number, if I switch my soap, and I don't take soap and put it all up, I don't put it all up in there, you're not supposed to do that. But I do wash my body with it, so of course the soap leaks down, you know, and it goes to certain parts, but. Yeah, even if I switch my soap right now, I would be like irritated, like everything would just, oh, God bless, okay? Cause I would be going through it, boo. So you, that might be your problem. And I hope this video helps you if it is. If y'all got any other story times y'all want me to tell y'all about, comment them thing down below right now. Another thing y'all, I don't use, I just use water down there. Um, Nothing but water. And then I use soap to wash up everything else. But no, I don't take soap in, you know what I'm saying? Go down there like that. Go down there like I don't do that. Because you're not supposed to just get it all up in there and all that stuff. And also like the dishes and things like that, those are not good for you either, so I don't use that stuff. If y'all want me to do a personal video on like my, you know, hygiene and things like that, comment that down below, sis, and I got you. So yeah, like I said, if there's any other story times that y'all want me to do, comment them things down below, okay? And I'ma get to them. Like that, you heard me. So yeah, I think I, I think I saved some vaginas. So yeah, y'all. As always, man, it's your girl, Chingaling, and it's thing back again. And I, hold up. It's your girl, Chingaling, and it's thing, and I will be back again with another one for y'all. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, hit that bell on the side, that way you never, ever, ever miss an upload. I love y'all so much, and I'll talk to y'all in the next one. Mwah. Peace, y'all. Make me the one.
love you so much I wanna be yours I love you so damn much What is it gonna be? Are you with me? I love everything The thought is so sweet So come on and let